Hey, hey y'all, this is Casey from Pizzazz. We are doing just a quick little sneak peek into what we are doing at the Kids Club and in the studio this month at Pizzazz. So this project right here is one of the projects that we are doing in the Kids Club. Um, we've got lots of just fun things and some of you may have never heard of a jelly plate before. Um, that is what we are using this whole month. Um, doing fun little jelly plate projects. So I'm just going to show you what a jelly plate is. Um, if you're interested in playing around with them, I'm going to show you just a couple of techniques. There's so many different things that you can do uh, with the jelly plates. And that's what we go a little bit further into um, inside the kids club and in our classes here at the studio. Um, but I just want to kind of show you what it is. <laughs> so if you are interested, you can check out more um, for all of this month, for the month of May. That is what you are, this is what we're doing in the kids club. So if you were to like join the kids club today, you already have some lessons waiting on you. And then every single Monday, we upload two more lessons, one for the five to nine age group, one for the 10 to 13 age group. You can do one or the other or do both. So, um, so let's get rolling. Also, if you are a kids club member, and you have not already bought your jelly plates. Remember, you have got a code um, that we have provided for you to where you get 20% off. So be sure to use that code. Um, all right. So here I've got just some tools. So this is the jelly plate. Now, this is a very loved jelly plate. This is a well used here at the studio for years. Okay. So it's got, it looks a little dirtier than it should. Um, but this is just kind of this flexible jelly material. They come in all different types, um, sizes, shapes, oval, uh, small. This is like a, the size of a, a piece of paper, a little bit smaller. So this is the size that we like. And there are so many fun things you can do. So if you're doing this, you'll need a, a jelly plate, um, a brayer. So this is how we're going to apply the paint all over it. And then, like I told you, there are multiple techniques that you could use, but I'm going to show you kind of the, um, the lifting off technique. Yay. I see that you said you just got your jelly plate. Isn't it so fun? It's, they're so much fun. Um, so, uh, there, we're going to show you the lifting off technique, which we're going to use some Q-tips and some bubble wrap with. Okay. So again, there's a lot more that you can do with this. This is probably the simplest version of what you can do. All right, so I'm going to pick some paint. I'm going to do some warms. So I'm going to do, I've got my Americano Deco Art. I'm just going to do a little bit, not too much. And since I'm doing that warm color family, I'm going to also grab the yellow Deco Art. We love this Americano Deco Art. This is acrylic paint, okay? Not like it has to be screen printing front paint or anything like this, just acrylic paint. I'm doing two colors that even if they mix together, they're still going to create an orange. Don't do two colors that when they mix together are going to create a brown. Okay. So from here, I'm going to start spreading it all out. My brayer is a little bit not rolling quite as good as it should, but I want this to cover. I don't want it to get on my computer, um, but I want to cover the entire plate. And I, and I like it to be kind of um, to where I can see the yellows and the, the pinks. I'm not trying to mix it into where it all becomes uh, orange. I want there to be multiple. I want there to be some yellow, some pink, some orange. Don't you see it all? Okay, we want to kind of work quick before it dries. So I've spread it all out. Now I'm going to um, just take a Q-tip and have fun drawing something in it okay do you see how that took the paint off so i'm just gonna draw sometimes this q-tip starts to get a little dirty you gotta flip it to the other side just a simple design and then you could use um you could use regular paper cardstock i've just got copy paper for this um but i'm going to place the whole thing on top Give it a rub. Yes, I see lots of y'all um, talking about uh, how you love the jelly plates. Deborah says the jelly plates are so much fun. Angela says I have jelly pads and I can't seem to get them to work for me. I wonder, hmm, is it the same thing as this? And I wonder, let me know more. Why are they not working? What are you using? What is the problem? Let's see if we can help you, help you figure that one out. Um, all right, so press down. Now I'm going to pull up and ta-da, we have a fun little sign. Okay, so we'll let this dry and it will 
be a little, little bit more sturdy. So it's super fun thing that you can do just for big pops of color. You could also make your own paper. Sometimes we'll pull a ghost print. Here's a, another piece of paper. I'll pull a ghost print and, um, and you can just use it for whatever. So, so I've got kind of this right here and um, it's not much, but like if I ever wanted to, to do more colors on top of it and make some interesting, uh, interesting designs, I could use that and just kind of cut it apart for collage. So again, inside the club, you see inside the kids club, these are a couple of the projects that we're using. So we just have like fun, different kinds of papers that we can uh, use for the collage. So nothing will ever go to waste. Even if it just kind of looks like this, nothing's going to go to waste. All right, next up, I'm going to do one more. So I'm going to do the cool colors. So here's the, um, the light green. I'm going to do the light blue um let's see angela's saying that you are having problems one thing i will tell you that we've seen uh we saw this just yesterday with one of the um girls that was doing this okay before change my train of thought for a second i'm gonna clean this off right here just i remember i'm just making this like look like fun paper anyway um what i was saying that one of the little girls that was doing this yesterday she waited too long she went really slow with thinking of her design and everything and that acrylic paint kind of dried on the jelly plate um and it was too dry to transfer okay so that is um that could be one problem if you are waiting too long if you don't have enough paint on there and it dries really quick or something uh, that could be one of the problems all right so we got it all spread out there all right so now another technique still gonna be lifting off i'm going to use bubble wrap gonna place the bubble wrap down kind of give it a good push pull it off and then again, you've already got some cool design back here. You could grab that, um, grab that Q-tip, go ahead, draw you some sort of fun design. Uh, again, you have to kind of sometimes swap the Q-tip around. Uh, um, I'll do a few more little funsies. Okay, and then I will grab my piece of paper, do a clean one, and we will print, give it a good rub, and then pull off, and then you've got it. So, um, so I'm excited to see what this one looks like. It's always a mystery. Like, it's fun to see the kids uh, when they pull it up and the, oh, the oohs and ahs of, how oh, cool. All right. So what's cool about this one, I'll do it flat. What's cool about this is you got a little bit of that uh, orangey paint from the last print on there too. So it looks really kind of really, really cool. So I'm going to do one more ghost print. I'm just going to use this, this one that I already used. Because again, I'm just kind of using this piece of paper as a catch-all and can use it for some really cool collage pieces later. So that is all I'm going to share with you right now. Just those couple of lifting off techniques. Um, but if you are interested, that looks fun, doesn't it? Doesn't it just like fun scrapbook paper? <laughs> so if you are interested in uh, learning more about fun jelly plates, um, here are, again, a few of the projects that we are doing inside the Kids Club and at the studio this month. Um, let's see, I had another really cool one somewhere around here. Um, but uh, yeah, just uh, let us know if you've got any questions. If you are a Kids Club member, remember you do get... Um, you do get a coupon to get these jelly plates at a little bit of a discount. So that is it for today. Let us know if you've got any questions and um, we would love to see you either at the studio or in the kids club. All right, y'all. See you. See ya.